boys, episode 105, pieces up and about because his son fucking dominated today. We beat the scum of Kitakushu Tone. Now, Kitakushu, for all you people out there, Kitakushu Tone, in three words, how would you describe Kitakushu? It's, mm, oh God, it, it's the scum. <laughs> it's the scum. <laughs> Mate, Kitakushu is like um, Karaya, where I grew up in Geelong. Taz, you're always a fucking very affluent suburb type of kid. So we can't even probably say any area near you that would be close to Kitakushu. But basically, it's the Karaya of uh, Fukuoka, of Geelong. So, so it's not like Brighton, not like Sandringham, Bow Morris, Black Rock, Hampton. None of those no. million-dollar-plus suburbs that no. I... Okay. No, no, oh. no. And there's scumbags. We beat them today 3-2. My son's into the final four of the state champs. The absolute stud that he is. And Tone, they had to combine two schools into one to try to beat us. Yeah. Uh, that's cheating. That's, that's cheating. cheating. And that's Kitakushu. So, um, no, nah, I'm absolutely stoked. Uh, he, he did well. But, boys, how good are we? Um, last week, Tone, you're going for three in a row. What happened, big dog? Absolutely disgusting. Pulled it up. Shocking. Terrible. Should be put out for a year. Uh, just absolutely just deplorable effort last week. You actually going what, for a hat trick, Tone? You're going for a hat trick. Yes, going for a hat trick. They never even gave a yelp. There's obviously something was very, very wrong there. Uh, blew in the market before the jump, I think, too. Blew out quite a bit, but something was very wrong. And obviously it, pulled it up. Jockey should be put out for a year. The elephant in the room last week, where were you? <sighs> they don't want to talk about last week. We're what moving on now. Nah, nah, nah. That's it. What happened? Finished. Nah, it's deplorable, deplorable. I don't even want to talk about last week's races. Let's talk about this week. No, That's all I'm no. Interested. Last week you weren't on the show, you moron. Oh, I was sick. Right. Bloody sick. Really right. crook. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. really, really crook guts. I, could, I, could, oh. I couldn't, I couldn't, I just had to lay down. Right. I couldn't get up. Couldn't sit up. Oh, I'm actually surprised, Pezza. Yeah. Because um, the, the amount of love that we gave Tone through the show... I mean, yeah. did you get an influx of messages and stuff? Because I had a few blokes message me and say, is he still alive? Is he okay? Where can we send, um, you know, tissues? Where can we send toilet paper? Where can we send Vaseline? Is there anything that we can do to help him? I mean, I don't know, Tone, seriously, the amount of love that you were getting through private messages just sliding into my DMs was incredible. So you are one of the... Most hated men in Japan by the Japanese, <laughs> but you are one of the most loved men on Palti. Yes. There yeah. we go. I, I, my son's just going to get a massage, and uh, the person who's taken him to go get a massage have just called me. Do you think I could make a call on Palti in Japanese? Do you think people would want to watch that? No. Maybe. <laughs> Perfect. All right, talk away, boys. Talk away. What do you want to know? Well, wishy, wishy. Um, uh, uh, shall, shall we go through the um, through the uh, tips? So, Tone's titanium. Um, it's oh, no zing, so yes. it is very, very average. Now, what did Don't you what end up watching? Pe did you watch Pez's push? Uh, no, I didn't, mate. No, I didn't get. I okay, didn't well, get to... well, let me take you through it. Pez's push was like pushing shit uphill. It went absolutely nowhere. Now, we can go a little bit further. We can go to um, the Greek freak myself, Joviality. Well, well, well. I did say it would come back, and goodness gracious, did it come back. Bang for the Greek freak. Now, as for Barney, put a, what did he back? Put out the red light. Well, the red light, as Pez has got it there, was extinguished. Having said that, I'd be very, very interested to see if Barney backs up and gets the red light out again. Pez up. Great news. My son's coming home, the beautiful Japanese woman, Tani Summer. She's going to bring him home so I don't have to oh. uh, try and escape. So she must have known that we were filming Palti and she knew she might be a subscriber. Now, please subscribe to the video. Holy shit. I'm going to give you the records. I was thinking about this last night, Taz, because you're on fire. I think you're four out of six for the fist up. Yeah. Pez oh, no, is zero, zero out of 156. And Tone's actually hit two out of the last three. So I want to put the, I want to give the familiar our results, but fuck it, 43 subscribers. No, if we get to 100 subscribers this week, 
I will give you the results next week of how we're actually going and how much money Taz is making us and uh, and how much money uh, Pez and uh, Tone are costing us. Um, so if we get to 100 subscribers, Tone, we're on 43. We need 57 43. people out there to try to like it. Yes, And exactly. then I'll give you the results and show you how great Not great, that great difficult. Is. Just press that button. Press That's that it. subscribe button somewhere. That's it. That's it. No, no. So, Taz, did you pump yourself up enough? Um, no, I'm not enough. I just said oh. that yours, um, your horse, um, you know, Pez's push was like pushing shit uphill. It was going nowhere. But the thing um, is, it, it came from second last from an unwinnable position. And it was, of course, the first two gap third, but we're in a blanket for third. So it's probably going to get my money again, this unusual culture. That's three times in a row. Um, I don't, it was, it was I don't a know. shocking ride. Pezza, when I see Meech on a um, Ma Eustace horse, it, it really made me question. And I think we talked mm -hmm. about it. We were thinking maybe it was going to push forward, but who I knows? I thought she was I mean, going to ride it upside down, but she didn't. She rode it the usual way. But, you know, Tone, when they take him that far back, you know, obviously they're the ones at the front are going to have a bit left in the tank. So, you know, there's no might and power in the race yet in the speed. So... You know, it's pretty hard to get over the top with the run sections the way they did. But anyway, but joviality, what a yeah. ride. Jesus. How come you get all the bloody rides, Taz? Me and Tony um, get the fucking, you know. Look. How about it, Peter Nucky pretty... on Wednesday, the prick? Oh, that was the worst ride I've seen in a long, long time. Oh. I don't normally bag jockeys. I don't the bag sprinter, jockeys, but The that sprinter was, was back cool. in time from 5.15 to 3.20. Yeah. But, yeah, no. Okay. Um, who rode yours last week? Do you remember? Yeah, mine. Yes. The Money Man. Oh. Remember, as I said, yeah. I said, Waller wants him to come to Sydney. Yeah. But if Orman can't go to Sydney, then Waller will take the horses to Orman. And that's exactly what he did. Good old Jimmy. He, he rode he it took a off. He took, off at the six, he took off at the 600 metre mark, didn't he? He just caught him napping. Yeah. And, um, he it didn't, was, he it was didn't a have a lot on the line, but he had enough. He'd already stolen the race. And um, look, that's why I guess he's, you know, he's winning um, more races than anyone else up there. And that's why he's in such demand. Yeah. Um, it was a perfect ride. The horse has got a lot of ability. Um, he just found the right race and, and bang. Yeah. So thank you. And thank you. Um, thank you for applauding me. And sorry, I'm so good. Right. <laughs> now, if we get the extra 57 subscribers, you'll see how good the great man is because we'll actually put the results up. Uh, once we get to 100 subscribers on the channel and uh, we can all celebrate and applaud uh, the great freak because uh, he's well and truly in the black after the last four out of six. So well done, mate. Um, Thanks, guys. Two out I, know of four I, take, I, I know I take the piss a bit. Sorry, but yeah. um, I don't mean to. It's all, we're, we're all in this together. So while, mate, yeah, you're I'm about like, as humble as fucking Tony at the stand up at about seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, and that's like, come on, mate. Tone's like Nick Curios. At seven o'clock in the evening at the stand up, he's horrible. Oh, listen to fucking the toad of Toad Hall here. Taz, don't listen oh, to that at all. He's out of that. control. Captain Spastic. Jesus oh, the, Christ. Like, come you on. Can't say special needs. I can oh. say what I want. Special I needs. Captain what I want. Special needs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Special yeah. needs. Special needs was on Zing. I thought bloody Woody was on it out of Toy Story. Oh. At, Talk about, oh, challenged. Benny Some Thompson, it was a pickup ride. It was a pickup ride, Tone. Horses. It was a pickup um, ride. Hey? It was a pickup pick ride. ride. I don't, he should have been picked up and thrown in the Yarra. Yeah, but I, Tone, Tone, Tone oh, in the out. Brisbane I'm River. Gonna give it, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit devil's right. advocate. Just a little oh. bit devil's advocate because oh. I watched the run. Oh. Now, it had drawn the outside. The horse normally does settle sort of um, midfield. Drawn the outside, if he pushes forward and tries to get a position, he's probably caught three and four wide. And then before you know it, he's ridden upside down. Now, that said, um, what was it? Benny Thompson probably shouldn't have gone back as far as he did, but I reckon he was a victim of circumstance. Oh. And then towards the end, they were no way, no way known making, oh. um, making ground home. Don't sack Benny yet. Don't sack him yet. Oh, Don't he's put him in the sin Absolutely. Like, no, 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 Tess. He might as well go 
Oh, how how oh. do you get? You cannot win taking a horse that far back. You can. Rough habit did it. Christ, they're not all winks. Mr. Bureaucrat. They're not on Black Knight yeah. or some old Kiwi oh, or something. Jeez, you I remember like... Bo Zam. It did it as well at Caulfield. There's plenty yeah, of them. They probably had a needle it. back in the day and they never picked that up back then, but now they swab them all. So <laughs> they should be swabbing the jockeys. They'd he probably... should have been swabbed after that race. It was probably like the Greyhounds really? back in the day saying, feed them a meat pie before the race. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Tony, Rocket. you know. Terrible. Tony, if they're swabbing the jockeys, how do you reckon they'll do it? Do you reckon they'll bend them over and just give them a little? Is that how they'll do it? I'd like that job. What, I'd use a what, sled jammer. Check? Is that, I'd is use that? a sled jammer and a uh, a green pineapple that I'd insert in backwards. And just, <laughs> yeah. oh, you're a hard anyway. man. I'd, I'd put my hand up for a couple of the uh, female versions, Tone. Um, Maybe Benny Mellon did that at the Airbnb, but we're not sure. Anyway, here we go. Uh, let's get into it. The only key, the only thing that people want to know about is the great man himself, the great freak. Taz, uh, what do we got, mate, for the Fista? All right. I have found one in Sydney coming back from Brisbane looking for the wet ground, and it's called Enchanted Heart. Ooh. Now, it returns to New South Wales. It had two runs in group-type races um, where, admittedly, it wasn't suited to the dry conditions. They weren't that bad runs, to be honest. But it comes back to Sydney. It drops back to, I think, 1,100. J-Max on board. Um, I'm trusting J- the, uh, the jockey, Chris, the trainer. Tony, J-Max hey? for Chris Lees. This is not a usual option. No, it's not. But, again, when you've got this relationship with winning jockeys like I do, oh. um, you know how to oh, find their horses. Oh, 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 oh. Have another tug. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, look, pr- th- this horse has um has run in some um pretty good quality races as well. Uh, I mean, it ran uh, the ones that were up in Queensland. It was a Dane Ripper and a Tats, but um, it did win the takeover target at Gosford on a soft seven. Look, I think it's been proven with, with maturity. Um, it's fourth up. It's one fourth up. J Mac dropping back to eleven hundred. Wet track, ideal for for it. Um, get in the queue. <laughs> I think Taz has put the Gant into arrogant. He, he's, he's a bit no, of, I'm not, up and no, about confident. in tone, isn't he? Oh, he's a big Yeah, he's, that'd be right. You put the con into that'd confident. That'd be right. You put the con into fedant. He yeah. thinks he's bloody yeah. he, Fucking he hell, you and your fucking Greek cousins, mate. Don't get a fucking quote for a concrete job from these pricks, I tell you, Tone. Uh, no, we do all right. You know what we do? Oh, we yeah. get quotes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then what we do is we then, I'll, I'll tell you the story, but it'll go for too long. You, uh, you got time yeah. or not? No, well. You got time? Not really, but. All right, if you don't have time, I won't do it. But can you paraphrase? Basically, it's like this. Albanians go out and do the quote. Right. And they might quote, I don't know, for a paint job, let's say, if you need your house painted, they might quote 1,500. Okay. So, so then what happens is the Greeks come in. Yes. And they do a quote, and the quote's like two and a half grand. And the right. guy says, how come it's a thousand more? Yeah. And then we work it out and we say, well, it's 500 extra feet for us, 500 mm. for you, and we still get the Albanians to do the job. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. I like it. All right. Uh, we're, and Mooney Valley. Mooney Valley's back. Absolutely fantastic. It's been too long for Death Valley. Uh, Caulfield and Flemington can go fuck itself. We're having the quaddy, but we've got some ideas of the quaddy in the future where we're trying to mix it up a bit. <laughs> Because uh, Barney's still going. This is his sixth week, Barney. That's incredible. Incredible. So yeah. are we ever going to win the quarter again? Oh, fire. Another one. Another one. Thanks, DJ Caleb. Now, of course, we – hey, Tone, we found a couple of flamingos, didn't we, for uh, Lukey over here? We did. Day, we, we did. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. They were like a little, little cup holder for your beer. So – we might send one to Luke and then he can put his beer into a little, like the baby flamingo, like the little. Exactly. And he could have yes. big papa. Um, all right. Perfect. And then, of course, um, we can't forget uh, Anno, the champ. We, 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 we never forget the captain in, in Woodsy. But I tell you what, Barney, uh, number six, we found out what, Tone, what do you think about little Marissa last week? Fantastic. 
You found her. You yeah, found did you not? It was amazing. She was on the Barney had her on the roof. It was incredible. Yeah, it was great. Uh, I, I did. Uh, yes, I heard the. Uh, yes, very she, good. She on the She's, roof, Jess. <laughs> well, she was on the roof of the shoes under the stairs. That's for sure. <laughs> so, well, oh, it cool. was good the way that Barney had her in the closet there. Free oh, Wilma style, it was. Yeah, mate. We might have to put Tone back in the closet. <laughs> um. Um. Anyway, we go to the quaddy. Uh, we go to the quaddy again. Taz, you're up first. You've got numbers two, seven, thirteen, and sixteen. If they're wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I am going up first. So look, uh, first, first up, number two, American Angel. I mean, Jamie Carr has got a great record on his horse. Five rides, a win, and three placings. Um, it looks to have come back pretty good in pretty good order. Um, so it goes in. It's the favourite, and rightly so. Um, second pick is the seven, Cyclone Sally. Love the name. Um, amongst friends, we call each other Sallies because the amount of rubbish that we talk, we're salivating. Cool. So I've got a couple of mates that it's like, g'day, Sal, g'day, Sal. So Tony um, used to go know, in. But Tony Cyclone used to Sally was turned from a nice. Sorry? Tony used to know a Sally. No. Like Sunshine Sally that won the, um, I think, the Oaks back in the no. 80s. So, Tony, do you remember your mate Sally? No. Nope. Oh. She sold seashells by the seashell. Oh, oh, oh. zing! The English. Look, oh, the English. In um, any case, it, Sally comes back from a Sydney run, so it went over yeah. for a little hit and run. Yeah. Um, it's going to love the um, the the wet ground. It's one four from six. Lynch right. stays on. So right. I don't know much about Lynch as a jockey. I don't know, Pezzo. Do you know a heap about? Uh, him? He's a country jock, country big jock. You don't usually see him in town on the Saturday, but. You know, you got your favourite trainer there in Mitchie Bell, so he likes to place them to win. You know that. Yeah, absolutely. Did so, you get back one of his other, over in Adelaide a couple of weeks ago? Which one with um, Prince of Helena? Yes. Yes, it's, it's over there. It's actually coming to Melbourne this week too. He doesn't mind chasing a check, uh, Mr Bell. So, uh, yeah, no, uh, obviously Look, uh, young Aaron's got a bit of an affinity with Cyclone Sally like Tone out of Barrier 4. Let's go. Well, four wins from six rides. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this one, but Rasatsu, if you pronounce it that way, yeah. it's rock hard fit. Rasatsu. But Carr's been booked to ride it as well. So I reckon something's going to happen unless she's riding two at once, which, mm. hey, who knows? Maybe she's done that before. Um, <laughs> um, it'll, be, <laughs> it'll be interesting Jeez. to see what happens here. But um, this is an import, and it looks like it's, um, it's ready to win if it does run. Um, and down the bottom, um, I put in six. You reckon Jay Carr's put... been double booked before? Hey? You reckon Jay Carr's been double booked? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, oh. I mean, I had a look at it and I saw it and I think this is bizarre. But as I said, wouldn't be the first time she's oh. written two at once. But oh. um, <laughs> anyway, um, the 16, I don't know how to pronounce this, but is it Pitch and None? Yeah. So yeah. not necessarily politically Pitch correct. Um, Willow's on board for this. Um, Willow for O'Brien. Um, this just seems to be getting fitter with every run. Um, how, I like how, good's, drawn... how good's Craig going at the moment? Seriously. Yeah. Oh, he, he's, been, he's been superb. I mean, he's come back from Ukraine. Um, God knows with what, but um, it might be a bit of karma. He's done some, some nice things yes. for the people there and, yep, and their absolutely. racing gods are paying so, him back. Cantorous, he's going really well. He's... Um... Before Wednesday, he was hitting at 40% uh, out of his yeah. ride since he's come back from the Ukraine. That's 40% win, Tony. Yeah, yeah very unusual. Doing well. Like, that's pretty – that's yeah. phenomenal. And uh, there's only one jockey better in – and that was in part of the pickers, Tony, and over in uh, the plastic, the kitty litter. Bob Michael McNabb over in New Zealand has gone about 44%. So wow. Craig's on fire. On fire, yeah. Tony. He, he is on fire. And um, with this one, he probably gets a good run. All, all I see happening with this one is if he can just um, not get caught in traffic because he's drawn the inside and he gets out, you know, halfway down the straight, he's a really, really big chance. Now, Tony, now, uh, I think Taz has forgotten one here, mate. One of your ghosts, one of your uh, your champs that won for you two weeks ago. I did. Oh, oh Tony. It's true. Oh, yeah. It is true. And then yep. I did leave it out. You got any thoughts there, mate? Uh, well, you know, the punter's graveyard, anything can happen. I hate the beach. Um, you know, 
it's a sardine can, Mooney Valley. Anything could can win, you know. Jeez, uh, I don't know. But, you know, Taz has always got a, a bit of feedback for you, mate. So you haven't got any feedback that he's left out your last start winner? Well, I like, I wouldn't be back in a diver. It's, it's out oh. in barrier 12. Like, oh, Well, uh, he's got one out of barrier 14 time. Uh, yeah, that, and that's another worry too. Like, oh. you know, it, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Really? I don't know. But you know, I just thought you'd tee off. I thought you'd tee off on him because that's what, you know, Magical Mardo and Taz, they all give you a bit of feedback. And then he, here you go. You can just have a free swing at him and you, you're giving him nothing. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens at the end of the race. No, but they <laughs> usually give you the feedback before time. Ah, uh, true. Yes, true. Look, look, I'd leave it out. I'd leave it out. Oh, I, I there, think you you know, well, there you go. There you go. Well, you well. know, I thought you would have been off the long run. You would have been off the long run of that one, mate. I thought you were ready to tee off. Pezza, <laughs> he's not. He's no go golf guru. Now, before you do go, if oh, there is a scratch, how long is his um, fucking leg? Holy shit! We got three eh? more legs. Tess has spoken for fucking thirteen minutes about the first leg. I haven't. You've been talking. We, just let me say this out. because if. One thing only, well, last bit, this is it. If there is a scratching, I'm throwing Benny Mellon's ride in. Oh. So that way, uh, Jamie will only be riding one and Benny goes in. <laughs> Benny. How's that? <laughs> I like that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. I've got numbers one, two, three, and eight. I'm going Jimmy the Bear for Billy Egan on Paddy Payne. Uh, the form horse at the moment can uh, win anything. I'm a bit scared about a Saturday race with Jimmy. But uh, I'm on the course and source in Mgawa uh, because that's Malau Racing. I've got a bit, little bit of a connection there with the Malau Racing. I'm on the toppy. I, I don't mind old to Stockdale taking a couple. First up, Matty Brown usually places them pretty well as well. And then I'm on the eight. Oh, Blakey McDougal's in town for Matty Williams. Old Rio Yuki, a bit of a Japanese name there for his uh, tone. I know a Rio and I know a Yuki over here. So that's good enough for me. Um, I've left a couple out that I was the problem with a Mickey Price for Danny Moore, but Daniel Moore doesn't re ride a lot for Mickey Price and, uh, and set the profit. Of course, I'll put a line through Jamie because obviously Benny riding in the previous race should be two. Something's going on there. Should be, should be messed up for this, but uh, one, two, three and eight. Now we get into the great man. He is at work today, Tone. Oh, he's working. He looks, that's a nice jacket. Yeah, I'll get it to the volume up, boys. Here we go. Are you getting him ready? Oh. Well, surprise, Pezza, with the previous race, though. You left out the South American. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, mate. And also doesn't the matter. Indian, Sasham. I thought matter. you love your cricket. No, <laughs> doesn't matter, mate. You know, if if you didn't take 100 minutes to talk about your leg, we might have been able to <laughs> delve into it a bit longer. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey boys, I'm back again oh to about week six. Hey, Pulty viewers. Week six. Viewers. Uh, Taz still being Taz. Oh. Pezza still being Pezza. And Tony's battling away for a winner now and then. Uh, <laughs> Valley, this time I've got the third leg once again. Uh, starting off with the 12, Tevedance. Oh. This is start over 1,400 last night. Come home. So it's a 1,600. It'll suit. And they've got the great Jamie Carr on board. Oh. So I don't know. Oh. Should be the winner, but I don't oh. know. The 14, that's my next one, Chief Altoni. Oh. Uh, I went up to Sydney, uh, raced well there, and it was dead stiff at Caulfield over the mile. And uh, that'll be hard to beat. Oh. Uh, next one, 13, Lakeen. Oh. Should be ready third up. They put everyone's favourite, Craig Williams, on board. So oh. that'll be amongst the numbers as well. Uh, Finish off with the 15, the Z horse. Got to put a Z horse in. It's all time. Yeah. Uh, it's a market mover as well. Uh, one of this track, same class, distance, last preparation. So I throw that in the exotics Nobody as well. Market mover. Uh, all right. Uh, my tip of the day is the first at Melbourne. Uh, it's about $3, three dollars, three fifty. The Aguilar. Uh, backed it before. Had a few wins on it. Uh, not a big field. Uh, last start, it kept kicking and kicking. It's had a couple of winners. I think it should do the job. So hopefully we get a quarter up because um, no one's getting all their legs up. So we've got to be due. I uh, hope all the boys have a win. Uh, I'm going to get back to the work. I'm at the Reef Hotel Casino in Cairns. Uh, the boys in Japan go well. The Sully down in Melbourne go well. And I'll talk to you all soon. Hey, Ru. Uh, wow. Well, 
on you, Jason. Well done. Well done, Jace. Well done. Well, going to get us a silly winner. Well, the great man, he, 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 he's done well, Lenny. He's, um, he was yeah. on a little break and he's sent us off a little video. Um, so the great man. And uh, he likes Diagla in the first around three skins. Billy Egg and Paddy Payne again. Uh, what a great combination that is. Holy shit. And Diagla was the one that ran down uh, no effort two starts no back. Effort. When no effort looked all over the winner with 200 uh, to go. Uh, and Diagla got it. And it wasn't a bad run last time. It was sort of ridden not to win. But um, he might have something there because Diagla, I think it'll really like the Valley. I think it'll like it because um, it'll have a lot of momentum at the school. And uh, that's all it needs. And I think it'll sweep around and uh, it'll, it'll be coming home, be steaming home anyway. Um, the great man's gone 12, 13, 14, and 15. And Tavernance is an old black book of tone, isn't it? When it should have won the morning cup for me. Yes, Thousands. yes. Um, but, yes. you know, there's some ghosts in this race, mate. My favourite horse ever, Laura Me In. That would have won me one of my biggest bets of my whole life about three years ago when I was back in Australia. It was on a Wednesday yeah. meet. And um, Chrissy Caserta was riding it. And we don't speak ill of the dead, but Jesus Christ, it was one of the worst slaughters you've ever seen. It ran the quickest... Uh, six the last 600 anywhere in Australia, and he's missed by a lip tone. Cost me a few grand, prick. But well done, Chrissy. Sorry, mate. We, you know. He's got a really tough leg, hasn't he? Yeah, there's a lot of guys. I reckon, it's, I reckon it's a really, really tough leg. So, I like his selections, but I reckon it's really tough. Smoking Roman's tone, so see Bond, Laura, so see Bond. um, oh. Lord of that, you know, and then he's gone the ones down the bottom. So, hopefully, one of the uh, um, one of the ones down the bottom. I like him. I like what he's tipped. I now, like Tone, you got the wanker, mate. He's got number two, four, six, and eleven. Yes, yes. Whip crack away. Gone the two. What's name? Richards on a claim and a couple of kilos. Um, Condos Express. That rings bells, doesn't it? I've backed that before. Right. Um, yeah. What's name? The old Opperman. I don't know whether he's an Archie or what, but strange name that. Yeah, he's on there. Uh, Invincible Jet, Geordie Child, one of your favourite jobs. One of my favourites, yeah, surprise baby. Cost me 24 grand. Yes, well done, Geordie. <laughs> yeah, absolute shocker. Yeah, and uh, thrown in the 11 home rule, the favourite, Damien Lane. I really like the favourite in this, but they're all drawn wide. That's the only thing that worries me. They're all drawn out wide, but you know. Good to see Frosty yeah. Lane back from his uh, Japanese, Japanese stint where he'd come and stole a bit of yen again. And um, good to see Frosty uh, coming back yeah, into it. Yeah, tough race to finish it off, mate. But uh, hopefully tough. you've got the 2 and 11, my favourite numbers, in the end of a quaddie. So I think we should be all right. Um, Tone, you, you don't want to give us any information that we don't can't read off the screen? Uh, I've, no. Well, well, actually, let me have a look. We've got um, possibly uh, Geordie Childs, I reckon, uh, might put in a real big effort this Saturday. Oh. He might actually ride a winner. Oh, um, yeah, I think he's a big chance. And I like Damien Lane on the favourite home rule. Right. He's Who, always who's on, on the screen. Who's on the Sorry. 13, guys? Yeah. Uh, oh, Mickey Walker. Walker's back. Shit. Who's on poised to rain? Michael Walker. Okay. Oh, look, I'm only just saying this. Double, It's a dual acceptor, that's all. Right. So if it's not in there, look out for it, I reckon, in South Australia. Because it's right. going from a group race. Uh, uh, um, into something else. But so Michael I'm not Walker, saying it wins. He wouldn't have many rides back since his leg. So that's interesting. Yeah, he might not even get it on. Because he's just come back from injury. So I, this must be one of his first days back. I think he, no, I think he rode um, Jigsaw when it won mm. for right. first or earlier on. But anyway, I, I just know it because it's an Adelaide horse. All right, it. good. All right. So Tone, thanks for that, mate. You, Right. Yeah. That's about that's about it. I'm not allowed, not Let's a get it home, Tone. Just get it home, mate. Get it home. Doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, Taz talks for a hundred minutes and he gets it wrong and then you talk for nothing, you give us nothing, but you usually get the winner. So maybe <laughs> Taz you might have to take a, a bit of a leaf out of uh Do you reckon Minimal minimal effort. Winner. Not like the fist today, mate. Oh, uh, no. No, no. Is that how you want it? No. Is that how you want it? Mate, Tone gives hey. us nothing anyway. We don't have two of yous. Hey. 
Oh, I was yeah. just, I was just wondering. I thought, you know, if you don't, know, I'll come on and I'll be Marcel Marceau. Oh, I'll just no. do this. And we've already got time doing that. We don't need another. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad likes your time because you don't say anything. Uh, what do you want me to fucking say? Well, say something. Fuck. Well. It... <laughs> Tell us I've about been Richmond. I've talking time. throughout the show. I haven't actually, you know, not been saying anything. I am here. That's important. What about Damien Hardwick, Tone? He had a lot to say when he was watching the reserves. <laughs> Damien Hardwick, I think it's about time Dimmer left. I think Dimmer's about done. Oh, He's becoming more like Moldhouse day by day, I think, you know. I really do. Yeah. All right, Tone. You, you don't know what happened, did you? He went to a reserves game on Saturday and some Richmond prick pushed the Williamstown bloke into the fence. The Williamstown prick jumps up and elbows him, knocks him over, and then Dimmer's about to climb the fence ready to smash him, calling them weak pricks. Come yeah. over here and I'll show you fucking what? what? Country Didn't football. That? Didn't you read that? No, no, country football, no. Be no, a foul, no. mate, be a foul. Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't see that. Oh. I just read read about the uh, contact and the umpires about uh, Big Nank getting Big a, a bit of a the bad bat. Oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I, uh, they were saying he was just going in the bat for his players. But fucking hell, he must be on the fucking wheels of the speed or something. Peasant, did you oh, read no, that the Samurai that. Star over there in Japan? Is oh, that yeah. the name of the main newspaper there? The Samurai yeah, Star. No, Samurai Tones Star. Tales. Tones Tales. <laughs> It's as good as the treasures. Right. Anyway, mate, Mooney Valley, here we go. I've got a bit of a French Valley up there for your time because I know how you love a little bit of French kissing. Uh, Mimi's Award, race five, number six, bang. Bang, yes. Um, look, three strikes and you're out, and that's going to be it. Two seconds. Oh, well, at the set, at start before last, it was a good second. Uh, last start, it, it hung in. I think it hung on pretty well. Um, I think it's ready. I think we're eventually going to get a win at the Valley. We've watched Dame Richards on board. Two kilo, home and two kilos. The price is right, ready to go. So, you know, Mimi likes to get back in a race this time. She's never hung on to anything in her life. I'm talking about coming down the, uh, the straight. I'm right. talking about... The, the finish. I should, should be talking about the finish. Well, she usually she runs yeah. home and she misses. And she, you know, like, she was she was pretty stiff though. So you know, she was, was part, first past the post a couple of starts back, and then got that yeah, taken she away. Over, and she that, got knocked over yeah. on the protest. That's right. You're right there. Yeah, yeah, so, it. so it should be two one three. She should be stiff to get knocked out of that. So redemption is all Mimi's. Uh, Roger Tone, you're not not keen. No, no, look, I, I, I'm sorry. One, one like a good thing. With, you know? One like a good thing two week, two Wednesday, Wednesday week ago. Brained him. Yeah, yes, yes. Well, that, that's one of yours. This is one of mine. I'll give it oh, a one more chance, mate. Oh, one right. more chance. Saturday's oh. it. Uh, Pez has got a little bit of inside information. Thanks, Dad. Uh, my old man knows the owner of this. Uh, absolutely trolled. Uh, Prebird, fucking over 800. Jumped, led, got headed. Blake sat on it like a stone. He had plenty of horse there. Um, actually, the third horse in that race is something to maybe keep an eye out. But um, Scorch Jeff's going over to the Lightning, going over to the Chockey Wheel Country. Race eight, number six. Uh, Jessica Eaton goes on board. I don't know how they've found Jessica Eaton. And you wouldn't believe it, but they've changed trainer because uh, they weren't real happy that she didn't go up to the Magic Millions for the $3 million uh, two, three-year-old race. Uh, that um, So, new trainer. Plenty of talent. Looks like it's come back a million bucks. Scorched earth. Over the 1,050. Get on. Don't worry what Tess is. He's going to oh, it's a tough race. No. No, 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 no. This horse Tessa, is fucking too I'm not going to bag it. Too it's good. a bloody good race. It's yeah. a really good race. Yeah, I don't think it's that great. But anyway, you keep oh, saying it's We're great. talking South Australia. We're talking, hang on. We're talking South Australia, end All of right. July. It's a bloody good race. Yeah. It's the lightning, so it should be good horses there. Anyway, boys, uh, gets to that 191 skins. Uh, very closing thoughts. We're nearly out of time. Go, Joey, tomorrow. Absolutely. Get in there. Welcome back, Tony.
It's looking good. All I can say, Pezzo, mm. are you lost without honkers? I'm lost. I'm lost. You are Mr. Hong Kong, oh. mate. You're lost without honkers. 